hello friends welcome back in this video we will configure registration and login form so let's first finish registration form so inside register.js we need to pull in use state okay so here i'll just add a comma then curly braces and use state okay let me save this file let me close this so we will get a space so use state is a special type of function called a hook it allows us to hook into react features use state specifically is a hook that allows us to add react state to functional component prior to hook if you write a functional component and later you need to add state to it then we have to convert it into class but now we can just use a hook inside the functional component now i also need link component okay so here i will do import link from react router dom let me save this file now we need to use use state hook okay so here inside this function i will write const and then we need an array and here we need to define the variable so form data this is the variable where all the data of the form will be stored and we need a setter function so here we need to write update so this setter function helps us to change the state okay update form data that is equal to use state and we need to initialize all the values of the form here one thing i want to tell you about this setter function that you can also name it as set form data but i'll keep it as update form data sorry form data okay not date so now here we will add the value so name initial value of name will be empty string okay then we have email initial value will be empty password will again be empty then we have confirm password so confirm password okay let me save this now after this we will we will destructure name email password and confirm password from form data so const and here i'll write name email password confirm password that is equal to form data okay let's save this now i need on chain handler so let me add a comment here okay so here i'll write on change handler configure configure to handle change for all fields okay let me save this and here let's take a const on change that is equal to an arrow function okay and here i write we need to pass event okay and here we need to write the name of the function so update form data and this we need to put it into round brackets okay and here we need spread operator okay so dot 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 and we need form data so we need all the fields okay initially we, we will take all the fields then we will uh, then we can take the target name values so so i'll hit enter and here i write e dot target dot name that is going to be e dot target dot value okay let's save this here i need a comma okay the spelling is incorrect so form data let me copy this and i'll paste it here let's save this now what else we need we need on submit handler so let's add a comment on submit handler and here we need to take a const on submit equals to an arrow function and we need to pass an event here so here i'll do e dot prevent value sorry prevent default okay then here we need to pass a condition that if password is not equal to okay if this is not equal to confirm password then we need to console log password must match okay else we will console dot log sorry we'll dot uh, we'll console dot log form data okay so all the fields in the form data will console let's save this and here i like password okay there was a typo error let me save this 
now we will add the html of the form okay so here let me remove this and inside the div i'll take an h1 tag and here i'll write register then we need a p tag and here i'll say specify your account info okay then we need form tag so form and here i'll add a on submit which we have created so on submit that is equal to e this is an event and we need a, we need an arrow function so on submit and we need to pass the event okay and let's close this form tag and now inside this form i'll take a div okay styling we will do later but first let's finish the html part so input type Will be text placeholder that is going to be name okay then we need name that is equal to name we need we need value that is equal to name that is this is coming from here okay name okay this is coming from here so here okay from here it is coming value is name then what else we need we need on change method so on change that is equal to and again we need an arrow function so e and then an arrow function so on change and we need to pass the event okay we need to close this input and here i'll type required okay this is something html file so save this this is done now we need for email so let me copy this div and i'll just change the entire thing so type will be email placeholder email address then uh, name will be email value will be email and then again on chain will be same okay so this is fine now we need for password so let me copy this div paste it type will be password placeholder will be password so password name will be password value is password on change is same okay uh, but here i think uh, instead of required we need minimum length that is equal to four okay let's save this then again uh, let's copy this div paste it we need for confirm password so type will be password confirm password and name will be confirm password value confirm password okay this will be same and this will be same and then after this div uh, i'll take one more input so input type will be submit value will be register let's close this input then what else we need we need a p tag and here i'll say that already have an account if you already have an account then just go back to login page so link to slash login okay let's close this and here i'll type log in okay save this so the registration page form is done so let's see uh here okay so register if i click on register you can see we can just type it because of that on change method okay so this registration page form is done now uh, we will complete the login page so if i click on login so as you can see there is no form so we'll finish that so let's open login form it is almost same okay few things are here and there so first we need you state okay then we need again we need link component so import link from react router dom okay then inside this function we'll take const and then an array and here we again need form data and update form data equals to view state and here we will add the fields here we only need email and password so email that is going to be empty string then we need password we need again empty string let's save this again we need to restructure it so const email password equals to form data okay let's save this then we need on change so here i'll add a comment on change 
let's copy the same thing okay it is same so yeah let me copy this paste it here so const on change equals to an arrow function so here i'll pass event and here uh, we need to we need to use spread operators so dot 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 form data then we need uh, the value from name so e dot target dot name that is equal to e dot target dot value let's save this then we need on submit so const on submit equals to an arrow function i need to pass the event so here i'll do event dot event default okay and then we can just console log and say awesome let's save this and now we'll complete the html so let's remove this and here i'll take an inside the div i'll take h1 tag and i'll say login then we need a p tag and here i can say log in to your account okay then we need form tag so form and here i'll take the on submit okay on submit method so on submit that is equal to e and it's event and then arrow function on submit and we, we need to pass the event okay let's close this form and then inside the form i'll take a div and then again i'll take an input with the type of uh sorry email not text email place placeholder will be email address name that is going to be email value that is going to be email okay then what else we require we require on change method so on change equals to and here uh, we need an arrow function so event and um, on change we need to pass the event okay let's uh, close this input and here also i'll write required okay let's save this then we need for uh, we need one more div input for password so password and here i'll say password okay name will be password value will be password and this will be this will remain same but we here we need minimum length that is equal to four okay let's save this then after this div we need input type submit okay so input type that is going to be submit and value that is going to be log login okay let's close this save this and after this input i need a p tag which is uh, not registered yet okay so we are asking that if you are not registered yet then just go to registration page so link to and here i'll do register and uh, let me type the text register okay let's save this so this is done now let's check it in the browser so this is the login page so here if i put any notebook we can't type it so let me see so here uh, we forgot to take this function okay so let's save this and now let's see we are able to type or not so yeah we are able to type it okay so so this is done so we have successfully completed the forms for register and login page so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye